Hi, this is Splish and welcome to this Ring of Elysium video. About a year ago, I made a video called How is Ring of Elysium doing in 2021? Where I talked about how it feels to play the game in 2021 and I also checked out how many people that are still playing the game. It probably doesn't come as a surprise to you that there's not so many people playing this game any longer. So with my experiences from last year and also from this session, the question is more like what happened to Ring of Elysium? Usually there's more than one thing that makes or breaks a game. Ring of Elysium was released as a free-to-play battle royale game in September 2018 by Aurora Studios and Tencent Games. This was at a time when the competition around the battle royale genre started to grow and become hard and tough considering that PUBG was released only one year before and had already gained a huge player base and popularity. I believe already here that Ring of Elysium got behind of things considering that PUBG got a lot of big YouTubers and streamers playing their game, which we know by now, in 2022 at least, is about the best marketing you can get. From what I remember, I never saw Tencent Games making a big scale marketing push when it comes to Ring of Elysium, or if they did, it was way under the budget of course uh, compared to PUBG or Warzone for that sake that was released a year after Ring of Elysium. With that in mind, it's easy to understand that it was tough times to catch and keep an audience for Ring of Elysium, especially since Warzone became very popular and in the same year of release as Warzone, meaning 2019, another top battle royale predator was released and that was Apex Legends. We can also talk about overall progression with the game and development, meaning Ring of Elysium, which most likely has had an impact as well when it comes to growing or not growing a player base. But I do think that the time, meaning timing of release and also the somewhat lack of marketing made it really hard for a game such as Ring of Elysium to reach further. In order to do well, you also need a good game. And this is of course when it comes down to personal experiences and opinions. I believe that Ring of Elysium is a good and fun battle royale game. To be honest, it's one of the few that I've kept on playing now and then through the years. And that comes from someone that isn't a huge fan of the BR genre at all to start with. But I do prefer Ring of Elysium over, for example, PUBG. I like the graphics in Ring of Elysium, it's colorful and still looks good in 2022. The gameplay feels nice, at least most of the time, and the sounds of the guns make it feel as if I'm hitting hard. But what makes Ring of Elysium special for me is the movement, meaning being able to, for example, use a glider to take me from point A to B without having to find a vehicle. That gives the player more freedom and also creates more possibilities and variation when also getting into firefights, for example, being able to use a grapple hook. But gameplay experiences aside, the lack of players in the game is a sad thing to experience, although I was happy to at least being able to both encounter and play alongside with real players. Usually it was around 50-50 I would say, meaning out of 28 players, half of them were real players and half of them were bots. Sometimes more bots, depending on what server you're playing on, time during the day matters as well. So that makes of course the experience of the game quite underwhelming and especially when you know how it feels to actually play Ring of Elysium with full servers. And I'm talking humans and, and not bots. I've heard that the Asian servers are more populated with real players, let me know if you have any experience regarding that. The question though, is everything lost for a game like Ring of Elysium? Not necessarily, it depends on what Tencent Game and Aurora Games for that sake has in mind. If they really want to spend more time and therefore money and resources to actually do something about the situation. I mean sure the game is old and maybe they have already plans to move on, but I was thinking about another free to play shooter, a sci-fi shooter that is called Splitgate that I played from the start when it was released at first on PC and then the devs decided to make it cross-play, meaning also releasing the game on consoles. The result of this overhaul and fixes, they were great. They gained a lot of new players, a much bigger player base than they had before when I first started to play on PC when it was released a few years ago. So that's one example and maybe that could correlate also with Ring of Elysium. Because once again I do think that this game is, you know, it's a cool game, it's a fun game. And maybe this kind of re-release or a new structure within the game 
Also inviting the console players into the game and making it crossplay, that would definitely boost it. I am pretty sure. Let me know your thoughts in the comment section as well. And even though this video wasn't that long, I hope you enjoyed. And if you're new to my channel, make sure to subscribe and turn on that notification bell so you won't miss out on any new videos when it comes to FPS games, such as new games, old games, free to play, and of course, AAA games. Thanks, people, and have a really beautiful day. And again, let me know your thoughts in the comments. Later.